Hello YouTube and to all my subscribers and this is Rajin do it yourself tutorials and today I'm gonna be making a video concerning about my brush presets for Paint Tool Sai. So let's open Paint Tool Sai and then click on file then create a new canvas with a resolution around 300 pixels to 600 pixels so we'll go with 300 and then press OK. So this video is about making line art using the brush preset in Paint Tool Sai. So the first thing that we're going to be tackling is that for those people that doesn't have any graphic tablet and they wanted to start um, digital arts and as we know you don't have a graphic tablet to start with so we're going to be drawing or making art line works using only a mouse. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on this icon and this icon is a new line work layer so basically this is a line work layer click on that and then once you press that you're gonna be seeing these tools these are the tools that you're gonna be using in creating line arts or drawing basically these tools are for using a mouse so I'm gonna be uh, clicking on the brush size particularly when you're using a mouse you uh, it doesn't have that much presets it's very simple but it's really quite good so I'm gonna show you now so I'm gonna press 10 and this one flat edge shape edge shape okay so I'm gonna be trying to draw something it's just click and drag click and drag all right Okay. Oops. All right, then press enter or double click to stop the lines. Okay. Um, it's really simple when you're doing line art and in paint tool side and uh, the Photoshop C6 really 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 nice press enter and then there you have a nice brow and eyes paint tool side is really really easy to use and it's not really that graphic extensive don't worry about uh, when you're creating line arts and it seems kind of off it's not really perfectly shaped we can cure and remedy that so press enter so the next thing that we're gonna be doing is uh, as you can see in this uh, drawing here it's not that really pretty nice uh, some of the uh, some of the edges some of the shapes are not that perfectly curved so to fix that um, you're gonna be uh, clicking this tool it's edit click on that then you are gonna see some um, line points here so you can basically drag it to change its shape okay so that it will look good right it's really simple it's really nice all right so in the eyes okay so if you want uh, so this is basically how you change and edit the shapes using um, the line work uh, line work tool here layer so the next thing is that we were gonna make the will make some dynamics on the lines that we have created so to make some dynamics we can add pressure on it so the next tool that we're gonna be clicking is this one pressure then click on some point here line point here just gonna drag it like that 
or here to make it thick all right so I'm gonna ch change it like that to make it look smooth there 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 okay So you can basically alter how the lines, the thickness of the lines in this line work layer. So yeah. So that it will look really, really nice and has dynamic on your line work. So that's why guys, um, I really prefer using paint tool sign now than Photoshop when creating line arts line work right so the possibilities is endless with this option here so yeah so that's how it is look at it it's really really nice so you can change everything about the lines that you have created you're just gonna click on edit so you can change how the shape looks like right there or if you want to add some pressure in it this thin line you can make it uh, more thinner or thicker yes and then curve for creating curve lines so basically this is all there is uh, this is the tool that we're gonna basically be using if we are making line arts or uh, uh, line work with paint tool Sci. so there is no basically no uh, preset setup it's just the default preset that we're gonna be using and that is the line work layer and then the curve line to edit the curve line you're gonna click on edit and then to add dynamics and pressure into that line art you're just gonna click pressure all right so now we will go on to uh, if you have a cheap graphic tablet or if you have a more expensive graphic tablet paint tool Sci is really really good very good at making line art so the presets that I'm gonna be using uh, here I'm gonna show you um, here is a line art thick previously in my um, first video about um, easy pen um, i405x so line art thick line art clean and then sketch so we're gonna click on sketch first so here are my presets um, so this is uh, the edge shape for the brush then it's normal then the size of the brush you can either choose any depending on how you want it to look how thick you want it to look like the density and the minimum size is 0% the density is 100 here you're just gonna uh, it's just the default simple circle and no texture the blending uh, 0 persistence 0 advanced setting here you just click that uh, the quality would be smoothest edge hardness is around 12 minimum this minimum density is 15 maximum density pressure is 100 percent hard soft is 172 then click on dance size and blend so let's check it out so I'm gonna be getting my um, my pen my digital pen and let's draw some uh, let's say something so basically it's just like that for sketching yes so this brush that I have given you the press the preset is for using sketch Yes. 
this. Okay, so yeah. Really nice for making sketches. So the next thing that we're gonna be do, uh, I'm gonna show you is the line art clean, uh, the presets that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna add some new layer on it. In the line art clean, this is a very thin line, which is often used for making line arts, clean line arts. So the edge would be this one, this flat edge. It's normal. The size is times one and 3.5 or uh, whatever you want it to be like the minimum size uh, is 0% density is 100 leave this things as default and in advanced settings the quality is 4 for smoothness edge hardness 0 minimum density is 92 maximum density is 93 hard and soft will be 100 pressure click this dance uh, size okay leave the blend off stabilizers that I'm using I prefer I preferably use five you can choose either one of this to make your line smoother the higher you go the straight or the s or more precise um, the the line would be but it will but it will be la it will lag a bit because it will consume more GPU and CPU power so for me I am really uh, smooth in creating lines so I'm just using 5 for a stabilizer so here we go um, let's choose on creating some uh, line art using this line art clean so you can see how this a line art clean looks like okay so basically it's just a thin smooth line which is really ideal when you're doing smooth line arts H so yeah you just it's H is for uh, flipping the image all right So, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Yep, basically that's how the line art would look like with this preset, line art clean okay so let's add a new layer we're just gonna unsee that and then here we go line art thick uh, this is a good preset if you want to draw thick line arts so um, this preset is uh, the ed edge shape would be the flat one the last one then the size 1.0 then 7 you can choose any if you uh, you can choose any size you want depending on your art the minimum size is 10% density is 100 leave this to as default the blending dilution persistence is 0 keep op op opacity just unclicked it and advanced setting is 4 for smoothness edge hardness 0 minimum density 0 max density pressure is 50% hard soft 200% press uh, uh, pressure is density click that and size and just just leave this off so let's see how this line looks like so I'm gonna trace this sketch over here uh, 
Oh. Yep. So basically, uh, this is how the line looks like. It's really thick and nice. And uh, usually, I use this preset when I'm making something like a manga art without color and chibi characters. Yes, I mainly use this for. Uh, okay, so the harder you press on it, the thicker it goes. Uh, and when you press light, it's re uh, the line art is uh, thin. So, yeah. Press E for razor. Okay, so so yeah. So basically, this is how the brush looks like with my line art thick preset. So if you want that preset, you can just copy that preset. And in order to get the preset perfectly, I just slow this video so that you can follow it clearly. So yeah, basically these are the presets that I'm using when creating line arts. The line art thick for create uh, for drawing chibi characters and for like black and white uh, art. Then line art clean for those smooth, thin line art designs. Then sketch for sketching. All right, so I hope this video is informative. Um, so this video is about um, creating line arts with using paint tool sci with brush presets so if you have if you don't have a graphic tablet you can still create good line art with paint tool sci because the because of this line work uh, layer here the the possibilities of creating uh, the same quality with graphic tablet is is amazing really so yeah, I recommend Paint Tool Sci for creating line arts, coloring, and everything. This tool is really, it's really, uh, it's really smooth, and it's not that very big in size, and it does not really uh, consume that much CPU and GPU, except when you uh, use these stabilizers here. The higher it goes, the the, the extensive it will be into your CPU and GPU. I hope this video is informative to you guys and if you have some questions, if you have suggestions or if you have so uh, if you if you want more you can just leave comments in the comment section below and thank you for watching guys um, again this is Regen do it yourself tutorials and be and uh, expect new videos to come. I'm gonna be showing you my brush presets too in Photoshop CS6. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and goodbye.